guys, it's Kelsey here. So today I'm gonna be showing you my winter pamper slash hygiene routine. And for these, I normally do a sit down type video, but I decided to switch it up and actually show you guys what I do. So the first thing that I like to do is light my candles. You guys know I'm obsessed with candles, so I always like to get a nice relaxing mood going before I start my night routine. So I do this every night actually. I don't just do this when I'm doing like a full pamper routine. So this is actually something that I like to do every night. And I always like to turn on one of my chill, calm playlists. So this is just one of them that I like to use. I have quite a few playlists, so I just picked one of those. So first things first, I have to hop in the shower first and wash my hair. I don't like to put heat in my hair that often, so I only wash my hair about once a month and during the winter months because I like to stretch out my blowout as long as I possibly can just to keep the heat to a minimum. So I'm shampooing with my Audible Beauty Blue Tansy Clarifying Shampoo. This has been one of my favorites over the past few months. It has consistently kept my hair super healthy and hasn't stripped my hair when I wash it either, so I've been obsessed with this. And then of course, after that, I like to follow with the conditioner. And this conditioner has a really, really lightweight feel. It doesn't weigh the hair down at all. I finally got a coupon code for you guys. So if you're a first time customer, you can get 20% off on audiblebeauty.com. So you guys make sure you use the code GLAMTWINS20% and go ahead and hop on this because I'm not sure how long it's gonna last. So I usually prefer to use the matching conditioner when I'm using a shampoo and conditioner because it makes for the perfect prep before you use your deep conditioner. So it's excellent for detangling so you don't have to worry about that when you're going with your mask. So this is the mask that I'm using, the Blue Tansy Reparative Mask. This mask is amazing. I've mentioned it numerous times in favorites videos as well as our Best of Beauty 2021 video. It's a mask that delivers. It's great for damaged hair. It's great if you're trying to maintain healthy hair. So I like to leave my mask in overnight. Okay, so moving on to body. The first thing that I like to use is my Honey Pot Sensitive Foaming Wash. So this is my favorite feminine wash to use. I like the original as well. They both work really, really well. So next for body wash, I'm gonna be using this Cremo body wash, and this is in the scent number 13, the Distillers Blend. So I mentioned this in our Best of Beauty 2021. This smells amazing. This is actually a men's shower gel. It's one of my favorite new smells. It kind of smells like a good drink and a sexy man. It's a really unique scent, so you have to go and target and smell this. It's amazing. Um, I also like that it doesn't dry my skin out either, so it's a really, really good shower gel. So next I'm just going to go in and exfoliate with my tried and true First Aid Beauty KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub. This stuff is bomb. I've talked about it so many times on this channel. So I usually like to exfoliate my entire body about three times a week. Um, so I try not to overdo it, but I always have to exfoliate on the days that I'm going to be shaving. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing next. I only shave now about once a month because ever since I started getting laser hair removal, I do not have to shave nowhere near as much as I used to. So I'm just using this Aveeno Positively Smooth Shower Gel. This is my favorite shower gel. It's unscented and not irritating. And I like to use this Gillette Pro Glide Razor. So men's razors always work better in my opinion. They just give you a closer shave and a smoother shave. Okay, now for my favorite part, the bath. I'm gonna be using my Alpen Goat Milk Foaming Milk Bath. I've been using this stuff for years. It's my favorite bubble bath because it doesn't dry my skin out and it's not irritating. And I'm just gonna follow that with these Ancient Minerals Magnesium Bath Flakes. These things are amazing. I do not recommend using these if you have to be productive after your bath because they're so relaxing. So after I'm done running my bath, I always like to go to the kitchen and make me some lemon water or I do lime water or sometimes I just do plain water or I do wine. It just depends. But this was a weekday, so I just decided to do only lemon water. Now, if it was a weekend, I would definitely be pouring me a nice big glass of wine. So I also like to make me a snack in the bath. I usually eat fruit, so winter baths, I like to do tangerines. 
And then usually for my summer baths, I like to do dark black cherries. And I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I do eat like actual like chips and popcorn in the bathtub. I know it's kind of weird, but I'm just an eat in the bathtub type person. It's just so relaxing. Um, I like to turn on my iPad and watch a TV show or I watch YouTube videos. So after the bath, I like to move on to skincare. So I'm using my CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. I've been using this for about four or five years now. This is my favorite cleanser. It's just super gentle and non-irritating. It just gets the job done without doing too much, you know? And then I like to go in with my Lunaforio Mini in black. I've had this for a while too. So I only charge this maybe once every four months. You don't have to charge this hardly ever. Um, sometimes I forget I have to charge it until it doesn't come on and I'm like, oh yeah, I have to charge this. So this is definitely my favorite cleaning device ever. By the way, this beanie is from Grace Alea. It's silk lined. So this is perfect to deep condition with. So first thing I'm doing is cleaning my tinkle razor for derma planning. So I only derma plan about maybe once a month. So I always like to go in a downward outward direction so you never want to go up because if you go up you're going to be basically scraping the dead skin into your pores and that's going to make you break out so always go straight down or in an outward motion so i like to do this because it helps my skincare products penetrate way better my skin is more glowy and a bonus is that my makeup looks way better it just lies better on my face so i just prefer not to have hair on my face at all and I also can get kind of hairy around the brow area so I just like to keep that area nice and naked. So I actually didn't have that much hair this time because I just dermaplane maybe about three weeks ago. So next I'm just going to put on my Osmosis Growth Factor Serum. You guys have seen me use this before. I've actually been using it for maybe three years now. Um, I showed this in my skincare routines. Actually, the past two skincare routines, I've showed you guys this. This is my favorite serum. So after you dermaplane, you do not want to use any actives. So no AHAs, VHAs, which is chemical exfoliators. So you don't want to use any of those. Also, I wouldn't recommend using any vitamin C. So just keep it simple with the skincare if you're going to be dermaplaning um, because you're going to irritate your skin. It's going to burn. So keep it simple the night you dermaplane. So that's why I'm just finishing up with my Aven cream this is my tried and true great if you have really dry skin i usually only use this during the winter time because it's pretty thick but i love it because it really helps to keep my skin nice and moisturized um, i notice if i don't use a thicker moisturizer without fragrance in the winter i tend to break out because my skin is overcompensating with oils because of the dryness outside so this is hands down my favorite face cream so I'm just going to skim through my whole teeth brushing ordeal or whatever because, yeah, it's kind of boring. I'll have all these products linked in the description box. Toothbrush, tongue scraper, all that. So all of this will be in the description box. So after I do my oral care, I like to clean my piercings with this tea tree oil. So when I first got my piercings, I just cleaned them with sea salt spray. But after they healed, I just like to clean them with hot water and tea tree oil and I just like to finish off with my Lano lips. This is the best lip balm you're ever going to use. So after I'm done with my face skincare, I like to finish off with my body care. So the Necessary deodorant is one of my faves of the moment. I mentioned this as well in our Best of Beauty 2021. And this night I used my Lilabo body cream. It smells so good. It's like a woodsy type scent. So I've been using this for a couple of years now. This is one of my faves and I just mixed it with this Necessary Body Oil. Um, it's really, really nice and lightweight, but super, super moisturizing without making you feel greasy. So the scent for tonight is the Replica When the Rain Stops. I like to use this on nights where I'm using like a clean scented body cream to go with it. So this pairs well with the Lalabo body cream. It just smells super clean. This is an aquatic type scent. So this is definitely one of my favorites of the moment. It smells so good because some nights I do like to smell more sweet, but this was not one of those nights. So yeah, that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see y'all next time.